singing, creating your content, etc. You have to understand why you are doing it. And what are your goals? Why are you creating a YouTube channel for? Because for everything that is content, you have to understand what you are making up against. When you want to create, and of course, if you have questions about YouTube, feel free to ask in the chat. When you want to create a YouTube channel, I created this channel. Oof, when did I create this YouTube channel? Let me see. Uh, I created this channel. Let me go to the analytics and see this YouTube channel, let's say lifetime. So this YouTube channel was created Two thousand and April two thousand and no, I think it was created before. But the analytics go only until there. But so this channel was created in I think two thousand and six when YouTube started. But I got analytics. I got what the hell. So I got information about this channel since April 2007. And I made 181 million views in 13 years, 14, 40, 14 years. And uh, so that's a lot of views. But as you can see, when I started my YouTube channel, when I started my YouTube channel, there was nobody. The space has nothing to do with today. The space of today is crowded as fuck. I'm trying to not curse in club shut up. Hey. Back in c'est tellement vrai back in the days when we started youtube there was nobody there was like very few channel so not only the money from advertising was not divided by millions of people it's the same thing for music it's the same thing for streaming it's the same thing for everything content today when I started creating content for the internet, it was in 96. So at that time, the web didn't explode. So it was something really for the people who knew. Then it was the websites. Then it was social media. And back then you could not even put videos on a website like YouTube. YouTube didn't even exist. So you have to understand the difference between and I've, I've seen the difference between YouTube of yesterday and YouTube of today. Now everything is run by algorithms, which can be a bad news. It can be a good news, depending on if you know how to dance with the algorithm. CF, my video, dance with the algorithms. And if you create your YouTube channel today, you have to first understand that there's 400 minutes a video uploaded every every second I think I'm not sure if it's every second or every minute but when you put your video it's in, insignificant like I said last week what counts is the stream of content the catalog that you are creating 141 episodes of Club Shada means that everybody that discovers me today can go back and watch all the episodes can watch 800 and something vlogs can watch shows can watch the story of my whole youtube channel you can go there and lose yourself and watch content forever so you have to understand it's like when you sign a deal with netflix 
as a as a, a movie maker or as an actor they don't sign you for one movie because they know that we are in a world where you do something and then it passes quick because people are this content all the time people they sign you for six movies they will tell you hey listen we'll give you 10 million to make us 10 movies small nice movies we'll give you the teams da, 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 da. this is the specification we need 10 movies we need one every six months let's go or documentaries or whatever and as an actor it's the same thing we're gonna sign you for a series for three seasons or we're gonna sign you we're gonna sign you and pay you but you have to be in our blockbusters because every month we really we release movies that are like movies for the cinema but to watch at home that's how netflix has become they spent i think 12 billion every year i'm not sure about the numbers but i think last time i read was something like that 12 billion or 6 billion i don't remember but let's say 10 billion every year to create content for the i think they have 200 million people paying 12 or 14 every 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 month so and this is the when you want to start creating a youtube channel good practice when when you want to start creating a youtube channel you have to really be prepared to work hard and not give up and maybe put out content for nobody for a long time because in a world where everything is algorithmic the algorithm will serve your video to the people that they know like your content but if nobody is watching your content yet the algorithm will not know who to serve your content to so you have to first use the rest of your social media to push your content to new viewers and then the algorithm will be like okay this person is watching so those people are and then but it takes a lot of time so you need to have a certainty that you are ready to give it time that is super 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 important a lot of people they put one video out and then they're done because no views no these no that you have to understand that it takes a lot of time it also takes time for youtube to accept you into monetization um i think to go in the monetization program you need let me see to accept you they will want uh let me see eligibility let me see okay minimum eligibility to join you need to have be in a, in a country of course where monetization is available uh, of course you must not have any guideline strikes so not use content from other people music from other people etc you must have you must have a minimum of 4000 watch hours so what is a watch hour is somebody watch your video for 5 minutes that's they count that so 4000 hours is a lot of minutes you need to have a thousand subscribers and then an adsense account so all this takes time which is listen it's fine to me the way i make money with anything music content video content audio content uh nfts art painting is always the same thing i create 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 and i don't think about the money in the beginning i create i keep creating i attract clientele and then at a point i create synergies with my other content and then at a point i look up and money is being made 
I'm never obsessed with the, the generating of money in the beginning. It's a waste of time. You cannot make money just like that. It's, you have to work hard. Most creators who are making money, a lot of money in the space, they start working 10, 15 years ago. So you have to be able to say to yourself, hey, listen, I have all these years in front of me and I'm going to make it happen. Very important. So you have to focus on creating great content and not great content once, but great content all the time. Listen, it's 2.22 a.m. Uh, here in Lisbon. Three hours ago at 11 and something, I was getting out the barber and I was asking myself, what am I going to talk? <laughs> like, I knew I wanted to talk about values, but that's all I knew. I don't take notes when I come here. I don't really have ideas. I'm just, okay, listen, let's go live. Let's see who's there and let's talk with them. And if people have questions, I answer. If people have conversations, something to say, we, we talk about it. And look, it's been almost two hours and here I am just conversing, talking. I don't have points. I didn't write. I didn't, I, I mean, I know exactly what I do on YouTube and how I do it, but it's not like I prepared something. And, but that's the thing, even without never preparing nothing, we did a whole 140 episodes of this show with sometimes making music, sometimes having conversation, sometimes calling other people. Sometimes you come and you talk. Actually, uh, I really want to maybe next episode. I would love to have an episode with you guys. Just open the line and, and having you come and, and have conversation. Next week, maybe. Yeah, next week would be cool. It's a long time I didn't do a Shadow Gang episode. And that's the, I believe that creating a channel, it became so easy. But then what's important is the content. You want to create a content. That's why the first thing I said was you have to know what you want to put in the content. A channel that you guys should go see is Joel Amen TV because he has a lot of content about content creation, a lot of advices. Go check his channel out. And when you want to create a channel, first you have to know what you're going to put inside. And then you have to work hard into what you're going to put. But then you have to also ask yourself what kind of content you're going to put. And when I say what kind of content, that means do you are you doing pre-recorded videos or are you doing live stream? You have to understand one thing about the trends of the internet. Right now, there's two types of content that are the content that work that are generating tons of views and that the platform are favor, favoriting, favor, if favorise, they are favor, favoriting, whatever, they're preferring. <laughs> they're gonna give more light to that content and those that type of content is short, less than 60 second vertical video a la TikTok. Here in YouTube, it's called Shorts. On Instagram, it's called... Uh... Shorts? I don't even know how they call it in Instagram. No, YouTube, they call it Short. And Instagram, they call it Reels. And in TikTok, it's TikToks. 
if you do this type this type of content youtube will show you like crazy and not just taking content from TikTok and repurposing it in 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 youtube really create new content short content and youtube will put you in front because right now they really want to be the next TikTok. that's one type of content that is really uh going rare well right now on youtube the second one is live stream just like what we're doing right now live stream content is youtube is really seeing the competition from twitch and they will put a lot of energy and money into live streaming especially in a world where people want to be remote people want to work remote people want to uh, stay at home because of pandemic etc etc so live streaming is the is really the new the new goal now and because twitch is has been making so much success for live streamers youtube will push live streaming and i'm sure they will start changing their platform to feature more live streaming than than it is right now and a lot of people say yeah but if you do live streaming wouldn't it be better to be on twitch or facebook and i say no why because first of all facebook they don't like to share money bye twitch they have a big problem twitch is amazing amazing it's great to do live stream because it's a it's a live stream first platform and all the people who are there are people who come to see the live streams but youtube has a big advantage in that youtube is a video on demand first meaning that when you do a live stream on twitch if you have people who know you who know your channel great they look at your stuff but then when you come to, to twitch it's impossible to see past content unless you go to the channel of the person it's hard to navigate in past content whereas on youtube so i'll give you an example for example uh if i go on youtube and i go to my own channel so there you go you see when you are on my channel it's easy to either watch what we are doing right now but you can also see all the episodes of before you have every episode in this playlist and you can see clips of that i that i edit of and you can see everything from all the clips from club shadow episodes from the past you can also see all my vlogs actually it's been a month since i didn't put a vlog i have to put my turkish vlogs it's been forever uh, you can see my vlogs you see you can see my shorts so usually when people send me videos dancing to my music i put them in my shorts um, you can see my music videos you can see the new songs uh, you can see all my shows so you have a lot of content that you can see when you arrive to my channel the problem with twitch is that most of the time when you arrive on twitch all you can see is who is live right now so i think there's an advantage with youtube because youtube being a platform that is really uh more based on watching content this is the best of both worlds you can watch live videos from the creators that you love but then the algorithm will always always serve you think that they believe that you like and indefinitely 
so you can either watch the stuff that you're interested in or you can also watch live stream and i believe that as a as somebody who's creating content if you create the content on face on youtube sorry if you create the content on youtube you're gonna be able to have this content be discovered while you're live like right now but at the same time once the live is over people can re-watch this content easily because youtube is a video on demand first platform so i believe yeah that's the place to to be and then after that it be, depends to finish it also depends what is your business as a as a, as a content creator what is the business that you are interested in 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 giving to the people and you have to ask yourself this question and depending on what 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 your business is you have to find all the types of content that would be interesting for uh for a youtube channel so to give you an example again uh if i go to uh joel amen's channel for example if i go to his channel you see he has tutorials les tendances digital so it's just Chinese, it's in french but you all speak french here also did you didn't you have some ch some shows in english as well as well but you see he decided that his his channel would be about uh the production because that's what he does the production part of how to make youtube videos what look last last the, his last video is which one is what equipment option d'équipement pour votre vidéo pour votre budget with his brother uh, dimitri they decided to do this live stream of an hour and and 37 minutes about what kind of equipment so very val valuable uh, information i'm gonna put the link here so you guys can can check it out and what is interesting is uh, if you take for example uh dalia her channel is more about societal societal uh it's a talk, it's a talk show about societal stuff uh and it's centered more in the congolese community but it goes beyond so the dahlia show uh we just started again this week is a show about you know conversation and 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 the, yeah you know different subjects and so that's what she decided to do so it's a live show and it, it's once a week and i believe that on youtube something that the youtube people tell me all the time is that the best way to do youtube is actually to to have a, a something that is every week or every month or every x or every day at times that are fixed for example club shutter every every wednesday i mean yeah Wednesday night, midnight and a half for me, 7.30 p.m. in Canada, whatever, and Sundays. And it's a fix in fixed horaire. It's always at the same time. And this make that the people who like to see the club shutter, they know, oh, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, that's club shutter. It's Sunday, that's club shutter. And then that's how you create uh a public that comes all the time and they return to your channel and as a creator depending on whatever you do you have to find what you're going to do that will attract people and make them want to come back it can be playing video games this is huge it can be listen if you are in 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 um 
if you are in 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 the adult entertainment for example like 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 julie if you are in the, the adult entertainment you're not going to be able to put adult content on youtube but you can do a show or a vlog about the conversation about the space the good the bad those are conversation that people might be interested in the fans you have to find a content that suits this platform but that can be interesting to the people who who would love to know the the the, the, the other side of a content creator in that space so there's so much stuff that you could do as a as a as an adult creator content creator you could talk about you can you can do behind the scenes you can you so that's vlogs you can do vlogs about your life you can you can also play video games you can you can um you can have conversations uh, with other actors other people in the space uh, directors like there's so much stuff you can do uh to to do synergy between the content that you would put maybe on only fans now you don't like only fans i don't but bear with me the content you would put on only fans and the content you would put on youtube and the other things that you do like music and etc so you have to really find and ask yourself how you can use each platform to your advantage and how you can create that synergy between the platforms if you are into cooking same thing you can do the cooking about you can do vlogs about going to find the ingredients uh, uh conversations about uh, the different ways of cooking the different techniques of cooking inviting traveling to 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 check the cuisine of other countries etc etc and then you can might you might have a live show where you are cooking and you are cooking real time and while you are cooking you're talking and people are asking questions you're answering and then once the the, the the cooking is done boom you, you show the the the, the 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 thing and maybe you can put music in the back etc listen so many things you can do and the last advice before i go and and check the rest of the the, the questions in the chat um and if you're still here and you enjoy what i'm saying before i go i want to see the rainbows in the chat the last thing, last advice I'm going to give you before I go is never say one thing to yourself. Never, like never, ever, ever say this for you. There's too much people. The space is crowded. Nobody will watch my video because there's already 1000 channels that are doing the same thing as me never say this because this is you not trusting yourself this is you not understanding how much you have to give you have to trust who you are listen i sing i make beats i rap i create content on youtube and while i'm live right now you could see a million people being live right now all around the world in every language but you are here with me you could go watch whatever but you are here what does it mean it means that you guys are my community we are a community and we created that community all together and we meet on these days around the content that I create and we form a community. And yeah, we every episode we are 400. Today we were yeah, 300 and some less than the other time. But that's beautiful. It goes up, it goes down. Sometimes it's a thousand, sometimes it's 8,000 depending on the guest. But as I said, it's not about the numbers of today. It's about the numbers on the long run. It's about all the content you're going to create. But I don't say to myself, oh, listen, I will never have a hundred times this, this, this number of people, blah, 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 blah. No, I trust myself. 
I know that what I'm saying is interesting. I know that maybe somebody will find this video in 10 years and be like, yo, this guy was smart. You know, and maybe if I'm still doing this show, hopefully we'll be at episode 2000 or whatever. You know, that's the, that's the beauty of it. And you have to trust that what you say is always a unique take on whatever subject at hand because listen we are all unique we are all unique with a unique perspective and a unique point of view on any subject so the way i talk about movies the way i talk about uh my problem with the abuse of inclusion the way I, all this somebody might might have the complete opposite conversation and say that it's not enough of it etc etc and might create a community around that and that's amazing and maybe one day i meet that person and we decide to do a show together and both our communities even if we don't agree we have a great show and we and we entertain as long as we respect ourselves etc etc and boom we have both point of view on the same thing and as much as there's creators as much as there's point of view and never ask yourself if whatever point you have on the conversation is valid or not it is valid but you have to trust yourself i saw a comment i'm coming to it from from julie i'm taking my time no don't take your time start creating now 